So after five years of wearing my hair relaxed, I have decided to start over my hair journey and transition into being natural once again. So hello there. Welcome back to another video with your girl Mika where it's all about hair care. So I have relaxed hair but I've decided to go natural. I did a relaxer stretch for six months and after that six months I decided to go natural. So currently I am in my seventh month going natural from relaxed hair. And I did do a video as to the reason why I decided to go natural. So if you want to get more details as to why I decided to go natural, then you can check out that video on my channel. I will leave it in the description link below. So is it hard to transition from natural hair to relaxed hair? For me, I had my hair natural for a while. But once my hair reached shoulder length, then I decided that I would relax my hair and i've been doing so for the past five years so this is not my first time going natural i've gone natural about three times already and all of that time it went pretty well of course we know we relax your hair for our hair to be more manageable well, for me i relaxed my hair because i wanted my hair to be more manageable and i noticed that when i had my hair natural after a while i was doing a lot of styles that was pulling onto my hair and I tend to wanted my hair to still look straight and not to see my curls. So this time around, I want to do things a little different. I want to be able to see my curls, wear my curls and a lot less tension on my hair. I know that my hair being in a ponytail might defeat that purpose right now, but I'm just putting this style for maybe a couple of days and then I will braid my hair to give my hair a break from catching my hair in a ponytail because if you watch my channel for a while now you know that catching my hair in a ponytail caused me to have a fishtail breakage and we don't want to have a fishtail breakage while I have my natural hair no 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 good so definitely I won't be catching my hair up like this all the time I do have a headband wig so I plan to utilize that so is it sad for me to start over my journey well at first when i decided that i was going to start over i was a bit sad because i really wanted to relax my hair again but things got in the way and so i was not able to do that like i said i did a video on that so if you want to check out that please do so now that i am transitioning i am practically starting over from scratch the only good thing about this was that i was doing a relaxer stretch for six months so my new growth is over six months so i have quite a bit of natural hair growing out already will i do a big chop i'm not sure if i would do a big chop because if i were to do that then my hair is going to be pretty short currently now my relaxed hair ends are pretty much right here so i have a lot of hair that i can use to do different styles i can do braid out styles and i can also braid my hair so I definitely will be keeping on the relaxed end. Now perhaps you're wondering if it's very difficult for me to manage my true texture here. For me, it is not. And I'll definitely share a wash day video to show you how I'm managing both texture because I'm not having the kind of breakage that I thought that I would have because I'm having true textured here. So pretty much everything is going quite fine. So if you are considering transitioning to being natural, then of course you can subscribe to my channel i noticed on my last video or a couple of videos i did about natural hair some persons were saying goodbye so for me it's not goodbye it's hello to my natural hair so my channel is all about hair care so i still be giving hair care tips of course i am not against persons relaxing their hair because i am going natural and i personally don't want to put myself in a group to say I am in a relaxed hair community or I'm in a natural hair community. For me, I am in a hair care community because that is what my channel is geared towards, hair care. Whether you're natural or relaxed or curly perm or bleached hair, whatever it is, hair coloring, my channel is all about hair care. So that is what I want to stay in, hair care, okay? So... I will still be giving tips on relaxed hair. 
and I will be giving even more tips on natural hair. So no, I am not against persons who relax their hair, but if you are transitioning, of course, you will be definitely seeing tips and also tutorials on how you can transition into having natural hair from relaxed hair. And if you have natural hair and perhaps you did a silk press and you now have heat damage, then perhaps you are going to have to do a big chop. Well, maybe if you're going to do a big chop, then of course you will be transitioning from having long, maybe long natural hair into having short natural hair. So you have to start over your journey. So different persons are in different phase of their hair journey. Whether it is that you were natural and then now you are relaxed, perhaps you are in that journey where you are no longer able to keep your hair natural and so you want your hair to be more manageable or to be in a straight form and so you have decided to relax your natural hair. Or you have reached a stage in your life where you have decided that you no longer want to wear your hair relaxed but you want to wear your hair natural. So for me, starting over is not a big deal for me perhaps for some persons it might be but because i've already gone natural about three times and for those three occasions i did keep my hair natural for about three years so i learned how to care for my natural hair i learned what my hair liked what my hair didn't like and so going back natural is quite easy for me because all i have to do is to go back to those things that i was doing while my hair was natural so is it a sad thing for me to start over from being relaxed to being natural? No. Of course, I will have to do a big chop at some point in time because my relaxed head is not going to revert to being natural. So those parts of my hair, I will have to cut in order to leave just the new hair, which is the natural hair. So transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair don't have to be hard if you know exactly what you want to do for me my hair is very soft my natural hair that is is very soft whenever it is wet so i know that whenever i'm going to detangle my natural hair all i need is to wet down my hair and my hair is going to be soft i do not have very tight curls and so my hair will be a lot easier to manage than someone who has tighter curl but that does not mean that because you have tighter curls then you must relax your hair. If you spend time, be patient and find out exactly what can work for your hair, then I'm telling you that your natural hair journey don't have to be hard. For me, my hair would fall in the four category. So you have one, two, three, my hair is way down to four. And for me, I think my curls are like a 4B, between a 4B and a 4C. And so what I find is that my hair loves moisture. Once it gets moisture, whether it be water, gel, whatever, as long as it's liquid, it's going to make my hair very soft. So I know that that works for my hair. And so for me, it's quite easy. On my wash day, I know that I need to make sure that my curls are wet. And once they are wet, then I'm good to go to detangle my hair. And as I said earlier, I am not experiencing any breakage even though I have two textured hair because I know what works for my natural hair and of course if you're relaxing where to break that's not a big deal because eventually I'm going to cut it off so some persons might say oh it's difficult to transition from relaxed hair to natural hair because of the two texture but I'm here to tell you that it is not hard Yes, you will take a little patience, especially if you have been relaxed for several years, maybe 10 years, 20 years, or you have been relaxed for most of your lifetime. And so you don't know how your natural hair will respond to certain type of products. It will take time. And my advice to anyone who wants to transition from relaxed hair to natural hair is to try it out. You won't know what will work for you unless you try it out. I did it three times. The first time I tried to grow my hair or transition into natural hair, I gave up after nine months. I cut off all my relaxed ends and then I could not manage because I had my hair relaxed for such a long time. And so I just relaxed my hair after the nine months. But the second time I went natural, I kept my hair for three years. 
And then the third time when I went natural, I kept it for another three years and something, and then I relaxed my hair. So going back natural is going to be very easier for me. If this is your first time, it might be a little bit more challenging. But like I said, it is nice. It is wonderful for you to see what works for your natural hair. And if you have always been relaxed for all your life, Please give it, give natural hair a try. You might be surprised to see how your hair is. I didn't even remember how my curls looked when I first did my transition to natural hair. So I was quite surprised to see the kind of texture here that I have. Of course, if you follow me on this journey, you will see the type of curl that I have. And I didn't even know. I used to see other person with their nice curls and wonder if I could have curls like theirs. And all along, underneath this relaxed hair, that was the kind of curl that was existing. And so I'm happy that I took the time out to see what works on my hair. And so going back natural now, that is what is going to make it easier for me. This is how my hair is looking. So you can see the wave. Let me know in the comment section if you're seeing the wave. So this is how far my hair is growing so far natural. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Personally, I feel that if you have always had your hair relaxed, you should really give natural hair a try. And the reason why I say that is so that you can learn to accept your curves, what works for your curves. And then after you have come to that acceptance and loving your curves, if for some reason in the future, a couple of years from now, you decide to relax your hair, that's fine at least. If you decide to transition to being natural again, you know exactly what to do to care for your curls. And you never can tell a health condition can cause you to not to be able to relax your hair anymore. So none of us know what the future will hold. So if you are able or you're in a position now to wear your hair natural, see what your hair like in its natural state, then I say go for it. So it's not a bad idea to transition from being relaxed to natural. And for me, I am enjoying the journey of transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair. Actually, I did not even know that I would be this excited to see my curls. So hello, curls. So if you want to see how my curls look and what the future hair care journey for me will look like, then go ahead and subscribe and follow me on this journey. And if you have natural hair, welcome. We'll be on this journey of natural hair together. And if you are relaxed and you were watching my relaxed hair video, then you are welcome to join me on this hair care journey. Even if you decide that you're going to keep your hair relaxed, we are still on the hair care journey. And as I said earlier, my channel is all about hair care. Whether you're relaxed, natural, curly perm, whatever it is, this channel is all about hair care. So if that's something that you're interested in, of course, go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give the video a like. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.